What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play Campaign as Italy. So, to round off where we left off, uh, the British have declared war on us now, which makes a change. <laughs> um, we've destroyed their first army with Enrico Cabotto. He's managed to destroy their first force, but I'm sure many more will come in due course. So now we have uh, plug bayonets, we are going to carry on and research ring bayonet. And then our infantry force is more or less uh, solid. So we had lost our trade agreement with with uh, Austria, but we've since got it back. So let's hit enter. And very nicely, the Brits are going to open up my trade again. We keep trying to make peace with the French, but they just won't have it. They're determined to not have peace, even though we are very friendly. Austria, Poland keeps wanting an alliance, and I say no. Because Poland is at war with Austria, and Austria is a very friendly ally to our east. Well, not, they're not allies, but they're very friendly, a very friendly neighbouring region. But what I'd like is to have one army at home, like a proper army, which I can de redeploy depending on the threat, and then have another army trying to expand our lands. Oh no. The Mughals have just created a stack and sent it off to sea. So I bet they're probably going to come after me. Oh no. The Venetians have sallied forth. The devils. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, let's go kill them. So the Brits haven't haven't blockaded us, Rioting but then nearby. Rioting is broken out, but now they're happy again. So what did they break? Probably, yeah, Weaver's Cottage up there, which I'm not even going to repair. Signore. Okay, let's march. March on, to, march on to Venice and put the whole thing under siege. Insediamento sotto assedio. So let's see if I might actually do some. Are you. Okay, that, that. Okay, I want to get rid of this provincial line because it's just more of a, more of a hassle. Okay, so that should have helped ease my retraining burden somewhat. Got 6,000. Let's expand the force in Savoy. Because they could roll on and take Genoa, and if they do, they do. Um, but what's more likely is actually they might just come and hit us at Venice, and if they do, we'll pull back. I've got my navy down here. Can't really use it, but I can move my uh, dragoons back up north. Okay, let's try and make peace. Ah, oh, damn! For a minute there, I thought they were gonna. No, Britain doesn't like us. Come on, Spain. What about just peace? I don't think the 13 colonies will trade with us. No. But they will give me... Oh, that's tempting. No, I need my European territories. Otherwise I'll get kicked out of the game. No, they're friendly with us and they've taken our territory. So we're not going to make peace with, with Spain. Peace and trade with New Spain. They want Naples. What if I just did this? Nope, fair enough. Let's also get another unit of line. So our economy is going to take another hit because of these attacks. And it looks like the British are gathering another army to 
push or to, to redeploy to our shores. But at least not yet. And I really, really, really don't get why... Like, in terms of diplomacy... Yeah, Spain's... Now Spain's getting involved. The swines. I mean, I might even just knock... Knock attacking the Nor uh, North Africa on the head, and then when I end up taking those islands, the Sardinia and Genoa actually send that army west and land it in Spain and then just take Madrid. <laughs> just knock out one enemy like that. Okay, good. The Mughals are just redeploying troops for their own war. <gasps> they are sallying out, so we want to deploy back as far as possible so we don't get hit by these mortars. And this could be a bit dodgy. Because our troop, our army's not brilliant, so this 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 is a bit of a risk, maybe. Let's to um, to before they sallied out. So it's a bit of a shock. They came straight out. Won't be so. Uh, I'm always a bit of a, a bit of a pessimist. So we want to deploy far back. To get away from their howitzers. And this is a terrible position for artillery most of the time. But I'm not at <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that I really don't want to lose this battle. Because this campaign is on a knife edge. Uh. General, back. Oh yeah, their their mortars ain't fire, ain't hitting me from there. Their guns aren't shooting me from there, but mine will shoot them. So speed up time. Go on, abandon your guns. Abandon them, I say. Okay, let's divvy out the artillery fire a bit more. Because they've got a lot of men. So we're going to really be depending on, on um, actually, if I cluster these together, I might be able to, might be able to get this guy to rout. Because this guy was on, this guy was the guy that started wavering. I mean, it looks like they're no longer listening to my commands because they're targeting what they like. first enemies okay you guys need to hit that cavalry unit because they just started charging at you okay so now the lines are starting to i mean jesus this is going to go really badly wrong let's pull you guys back to be more like this Okay, everyone, get ready. Well, 
wavering. Oh, a Swiss pipe on the flank right when I redeployed my men. Engage, don't engage. Pull back a bit more. Any men, any men you can kill is a bonus prior to the lines joining. Pull back a bit more. Just fire at them. Oh no, damn, both of you guys fire at these pipes. to not attack. Okay, so we've got our plug bayonets in. Charge in. This could go spectacularly badly wrong, but I've got at some point I've got a tangle and I want to get some guys to the rear. Cannons going. Next, my men are. My pipes are getting cut down quite a lot. Good, they're shattered. So let's get our paper guard back into the mix. These guys are now our melee reserve. Oh. Damn, there's a pike right in front of us. Broken pikes right in front of us. Okay, the immediate danger has passed.
target this regiment of horse. And these other gunners can probably eh, target that you know with line infantry. As they're coming back. Whew. That was one of those battles that things start going badly and they just cascade. just get back to the artillery battle. Whew. of them to route in that direction. They're not broken though, so we need to be careful. Yeah, there they are. What I want to see is them being shattered. And they are! Because then artillery stop firing altogether. And then the last really useful thing we can do is send my general out to go kill their last gun crew. Or well, this gun crew. Absolutely continue. Fully killing this gun crew will be a very nice little, uh, nice little win. I mean, if we can. I mean, one of them very nicely dropped dead for us. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of the way. Might just have to push up some... some infantry. Come on. It is bugged. I should really have looked. I think a dude with... I think a guy with musket... Oh, there we go. So let's halt artillery. See if they can do anything about it now. fighting the last gunner I mean the animations are a bit janky but oh, okay get run away run away run 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 out of the way so I mean they're opening up on him Where's the last actual guy? Oh, he's back here now. Ha <laughs> ha, you swine! Well, there's two of you, apparently. Don't know where. I mean, I don't think, I don't think the horse counted, but maybe it does. No, he is... I suppose the, cavalry, I suppose the horse does count. Come on. Let's 
See, this is it's moments like this that there we go. Sometimes, usually the horse always ends up killing it, but long it will actually take. So now we're fighting on equal terms. And the navy is is really angry. So we might not have we might not have banished or banishing the Venetians from the Italian shores because they might. Trade port in your have home region has been blocaded yes, by an enemy fleet. Yes, I know. Whilst this is see see this this army here, or well, this this army that's currently embarked. Yeah, Venice is down here as well. So if we want to root them out, we have to go take Morea. The forces are growing in strength here to go and attack their territory in Milan, formerly our territory in Milan. And let's upgrade the school. We'll spend the last cash we've got trying to get some replenishment done. Then we take this region. Let's try another, you know, it's almost a ritual now. What <sighs> just peace? Come on, let's try trade. Thirteen colonies? Nope. God damn it! So that's why money making, that's why trade regions are being blockaded. Okay, I don't need much to do except now head and turn. Yeah, the French are gathering an army too. The Royal Navy is gathering their strength. So I doubt they would allow us to have an alliance, but it would be tempting to maybe trade away Turin to secure an alliance with the French. I don't like giving away territory. I never liked giving away territory. But if we can get the French on our side, then, well, I suppose it depends if they're at war with Britain or not. I don't think in Empire you could ask countries to join wars against other people. If they're not at war, if you're not allies, when war is declared, then you can't call them in. That's where lots of the times when Poland says, you know, I'll call them in as an ally, they'll refuse. And then afterwards they'll go, we'll still be your ally. You, cause you just want to say, no, there's no point now. Because you're... <laughs> you've missed it. You're not going to still be an ally of mine and get all the benefits of those tech, of those ponies and then um, just get out of it. When you need to man up and si. back your team. Oh. One more turn. Okay, two more turns to okay, get up the set of guns. Good. I mean, Ordnance Factory gives me 12 pounders, which would be useful, but not critical. Military Governor's Barracks would be a good idea for Naples. And some more cash for punishing my main army. Because they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to attack me from somewhere. And if they leave Milan, this army will pounce in and take it. Good, and the French are on the move. Not annoying me. They're attacking the Ottomans. This campaign is a... I mean, I'll... I'll do it for the grand.
They're already at war with Austria, so I don't care. Oh, I might, well, I might have some negative penalties to Austria about how much they like me or not, but I'm not at war with them. I don't plan on going to war with them. Just need to keep growing this mighty country. The problem is, is there's no convenient place to expand into. Wherever you go, you're fighting a great European... Unless you go to North Africa, but North Africa is not worth it. So with that navy there, it pretty much stops me from... The British navy there, it stops me from sailing troops easily to Corsica. But if the navy's here, then they're not sending it back and forth, shuffling troops about. Okay, so now might be a good time to go for the Royal Palace. Even though it'll suck up all of my money, but it will get me plus four oppression to the region. 15% bonus to region tax income. It's lots of good stuff. It's like if I don't buy it, if I don't do it, then I'll, I'll never, you'll never get it. One more turn till this army is ready. See, France now is just friendly. So Austria's got... No, there's no negative penalty for me being allies with Poland. But this army, here in Turin, when it's ready it will take Milan, then I will sail it around to land to take Corsica, Sardinia, and then eventually, hey, the Prussians have got Patras. So what did you give them? No territory over in the Americas. In India is still Indian. So you must have paid them a bucket load of cash. Oh, that's probably where these guys came from. They teleported. Hmm, okay. Well, two more turns till you surrender. Savoy's got two more troops. Two more units of infantry. I think it's one or two more turns and I'll get some more units of artillery. Please fight the Brits. No, oh, don't blockade me as well, France. Curse you, you devils. Curse you. But we shall prevail in the end. As soon as I get a bit of breathing space, I'll go for the Spanish and capture Madrid, and then I'll feel a lot more secure. Because <laughs> um, once I take Sardinia, then the only Spanish region left is Madrid. And that'll knock them out. Then we'll have another, op another front open against the French to attack them. Then we'll become the great Catholic power of Europe. And there's nothing they'll be able to do about it. No, oh, good. Leave me alone. No, damn it. Yes. I'll take that. Interfere with the French, at least if you're going to interfere with me. A trade port in your home Stop region warning me. <laughs> I don't mind the. I don't mind the um the audible audible warnings. Yeah, there we go. We're going to be we're going to be officially bankrupt. Peace and trade. No. I'll give you square formation and cast shot. No. Here you go. Have a, here's, have a load of tech, trade and peace to leave me alone. I'm not giving you Naples. Either way, Macario Gabrielli is going to march on Milan. And... Yeah, that mortar is upsetting me. We'd probably be fine. We've got all these beautiful line infantry. Um, well, looking at the timer, actually maybe I might kick this problem out to the next part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Milan. Cheers everyone.